Welcome to your guide on the basic operation of the Automate multi-user control system. During regular use, the automated systems will guide you through your journey. For more detailed information, please consult the official SafeTech User's Guide or Quick Start pamphlet. A range of devices are fitted to keep you and your vehicle safe, including obstruction sensors, backup power, alarms, and braking failsafes. However, if any issues arise and you're not sure what to do next, do not use the lift. Contact the support team by using the phone button or by contacting the provided phone number. When approaching the lift at the ground floor, follow the directional arrows down to the waiting zone on the right hand side of the lift. If correctly parked, you will hear a beep from the overhead sensor and your car will be registered on the display. If travelling to your regular parking space, no other action is required. To travel to an alternate destination, press the desired floor on your remote within 10 seconds of the display showing this prompt. The chosen destination will be displayed on the right hand side of the screen. When the lift arrives, wait for any vehicles to leave the lift and only begin driving on when the traffic lights turn green. Drive slowly onto the lift, paying close attention to the park assist lights on the right hand wall. Two green lights will indicate correct positioning and will allow the doors to close. Place your vehicle in park and try to stay in your car during travel. Stay well clear of the front and rear doors to prevent the lift from stopping. Drive out slowly, being careful not to drive over the waiting bays or stopping in front of waiting lift users. From the lower levels, drive to any of the waiting zones and acknowledge your destination. Your user ID and the waiting bay letters A or B will be shown on the screen when it is your turn to use the lift. Do not enter the lift if it is not your turn. You may be taken to the wrong floor and disrupt other waiting users. When you reach the ground floor, exit slowly, ensuring you do not stop or block any waiting vehicles. Pedestrian travel is also available. Both the ground floor landing and lift control panels require security credentials. Use your keypad PIN number, the remote's inbuilt RFID tag, or the manual control key to enable the panel buttons. Ensure your key is with you at all times, as it will override any other travel requests. On the lower levels, security credentials are not required on the landing. Enter the lift at any time when safe to do so. Be wary that approaching vehicles may also be riding the lift with you and travelling to another floor. Thank you for watching and travel safe with SafeTech.